going on guys it's the beast pokeballer here as always coming at you guys with the next npa battle this is week eight i believe it could be seven it might be seven correct me if i'm wrong um you'll see it in the title uh anyways today guys we're battling person 715 and the atlanta braviaries if you guys don't know who person 715 is that is andrew he's one of my all-time like best and closest friends i wasn't able to battle him season one unfortunately uh but he did make it to the finals in season one he was the runner-up spoiler alert not that anyone even cared about season one <laughs> uh but yeah so andrew and the atlanta braviaries i'm really excited for this battle i got a cold team set up like always we've been on a loose streak our last two battles have been losses unfortunately so hopefully this one we can turn it back around that's what i'm hoping for uh, i am nervous as always i don't know why i get nervous for these battles since you know it's really all for fun but hey you know i play to win i guess kind of i don't know i mean i do but i just don't always win all right, anyways, Music 7, although I do have Glitch X City music in the background, check her out. You can find her link in the description as well, uh, along with KMAX, I'll use his music too, probably. Um, yeah, I'm nervous. I don't want to press battle start. I'm too nervous. Guys, the battle's canceled. Have a nice day. See you guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had a little mental breakdown while I was gone, but... I think we're ready to go. Today we're bringing ourselves Garbodor, his debut in NPA Season 2. He's like a little defensive tank and whatnot. Along with that, we have Mega Medicham and Bisharp, as always. Along with Don Fan, who's put in some good work this season. Magmortar, who's done a ton, especially in our Week 2 battle. If you haven't seen that, go check it out against Jerry Oak. And then lastly, we have Cray Dilly. This team is pretty good. I, th I think it's crafted pretty well. Um, so let's get into this. I'm just waiting for Andrew now, and I'll go ahead and take a pick of his sexy team. He's got himself a Girder. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't bring Chansey. He's got himself a Girder. He's got himself a Sableye. He's got himself an Absol, a Shinchino, a Togekiss, which I'm pretty scared of, and an Embor. So I'm going to lead with Donphan. Me and my assistant coach, Tabes, whose link you can also find in the description, along with Andrew and all his different links, um, we have this pretty cool plan with Donphan where... He might lead with Absol, and if he does, he's going to be like, Oh yeah, Magic Bounce against Donphan. <laughs> and uh, we can obviously eat anything an Absol has. And then what we do is throw out a superpower. So, I don't know, that's just like a little strategy. It might work, might not. He probably won't lead with it. But hey, we'll see. We'll see. Not sure if Girder gets rocks, so that'll be interesting. I don't think it does. I don't see any potential rock setters. He had Miltank, who I think gets rocks. I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, and then he also had Chansey who I'm pretty sure also gets rocks. Uh, I could be completely wrong about both of those, but that's what I'm pretty sure about. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty ready for this battle. I'm just going to try and chillax it this time, just take it easy, not be so tense like I usually am, just kind of relax, do the battle for fun, see how we can do. My fan's on. I don't really need it on, so I'll turn it off. Anyways, the battle is starting now. Ooh, Andrew, what you going to lead with, boy? What you going to lead with? He is going to lead with... Come on, let me see that Absol... Let me see that Absol Prank Star. I just got pranked, dude. Okay, so. It's gonna lead with him. That means a potential Will O Wisp is coming out. So, I'm gonna make this first switch. Uh, I don't know if it's obvious to him at all, but I'm gonna go into Magmortar to eat up the Will O Wisp or whatever he wants to throw at me. Um, Thunder Waving would suck. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what he does here. So we go into Magmortar, one of our star Pokemon. He's going to Magic Code. What the hell? Okay. So pause for just one second, guys. Just a quick interruption. Right here, I got Mirror Coat and Magic Coat mixed up. Mirror Coat is basically counter for special attacks, and Magic Coat reflects like hazards and stuff like that. So I got that mixed up. That's what I'm talking about right now. You guys will probably be confused, so I just wanted to clear that up. And uh, back to the battle. Okay, you're gonna magic code against a Don fan. Um, I almost want to go back into Don fan. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to attack this time. Okay, well, this is a weird predicament he's got me in. Why did he magic code against the Don fan? That threw me completely off. What? Okay. Uh, does he have Will O Wisp? Like I can't just attack because magic code will do a ton of damage. Well, Fire Blast, no, I don't, I don't think Fire Blast Oko's until after Rocks. And I'm not about to lose Magmordar that quick. I guess we'll go back in a Dawn Fan. I, I don't know, that was a weird thing he did right there. 
Hopefully I don't mess something up like hardcore right here. Oh, he withdraws. Go into Absol, please. Why would he withdraw there? He had the advantage. Okay, well, he goes into this thing. Uh, I kinda just wanna go ahead and Earthquake it. Is that a bad, is that a bad idea? I mean, he could be special, which would kinda suck. And rocks help us a lot. I do wanna get rocks up. But he also has the... Okay, I'm an Earthquake right here. But yeah, let's do that. Most Earthquake, uh, he could go into Togekiss if he wants. That's whatever. We have a few things that can hit Togekiss. If it's Scarfed, I'm going to be kind of afraid, not going to lie. Because Scarfed Togekiss, though not like not a lot of people run it, uh, my team's not the fastest, as you guys know. Like Mega Metacham is like base 100. I think that's like our fastest member we've even brought this time around. Uh, I could be wrong, I forget. <laughs> um, but we'll see what he does here. Going into Togekiss would probably be the play. Um, like I said, I can't risk rocks with the... Oh, no, no, Absol's not Mega. I could have rocked. He's going to withdraw. Alright, going into Togekiss. That's cool. Suplex City. Or going to Girder. Alright, well, he's obviously going to eat that pretty well. Uh, okay, so he's not... Okay, so Ice Punch is coming here. Um... Obviously, he's Flame Orb. I guess I'll go into Mag to eat the Ice Punch. I can only assume that that's what he's going to throw, right? And then we can outspeed, hit him with a Fire Blast. Or do we have Psychic? I forget. I don't know. We'll see. Yep, Ice Punch. Yum, yum, yum. Eating it like there's no tomorrow. So, with that, he's going to take his Brain Damage, put him in below half. I don't want to risk the Fire Blast. Uh... Yeah, I can just go Psychic here. That's definitely the play. If for some reason he goes into Absol, then well, oh well. We'll see. Maybe we'll see right here. I'm really excited I got to battle Andrew. I didn't get to battle him last season. And like I said, he's one of my all-time closest friends. So that's cool. He's going to withdraw. That was odd. Bacon. Okay, well, Bacon about to catch this Psychic, dude. Ooh, 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 ooh! Did not expect that one, did ya? Alright, so that's one of his members down so far. That's looking pretty good for us. <laughs> looking pretty good. Magmortar's a really powerful Pokemon. I'm surprised it's an NU, not an RU. Is it? Maybe got moved up. Was it even ever an NU? I'm pretty sure it's an NU. I don't really mess around with the lower tiers, guys, so forgive me if I'm wrong right there. Anyways, he's gonna go into lock. Now, this thing is scary. Uh, okay. Gonna have to switch out here for sure. Rock Blast is definitely happening. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to sack. Okay, well, I guess we're going to Don Fan, but he also will probably have that Grass type attack, you know. And Don Fan's pretty important for Absol, so I don't want to risk that too much. What is Magmortar? Magmortar helps against. Uh, Magmortar is a pretty good sweeper here too. Um, I'll go into Garbodor, see what that does. I know our Garbodor is pretty defensive, so if he goes for something like a Tail Slap here, or a Rock Blast misses, we'll be pretty good there, and we can Gunk Shot or whatever. Go for the Rock Blast, of course. Let me eat that. Mm. Alright, good job, Garbodor. Like I said, I haven't brought Garbodor this entire season, so it's pretty fun to have it now. I think what I'm going to do is actually throw up this... Do Toxic Spikes hurt him too bad? I think I'll throw up Toxic Spikes right now. Or actually Drain Punch, maybe? What would he switch into here? I can see him. Okay, I'll just go for... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spikes, maybe? Uh, you know what? I'll just go for the Drain Punch. Be safe about it. Could have gone for a gunk shot, predicting something crazy, like uh, if Togekiss came in. That'd be insane if I gunk shot right there, right? Alright, let's see what Garbodor can do. I'm actually pretty excited to use Garbodor. That's, it's actually a cool Pokemon. A lot of people hate it. I personally actually think it's pretty okay. Like, I don't love it or anything. I think it's like a mediocre Pokemon, I guess. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't hate it. It's pretty cool. Definitely not my least favorite. Now, when it comes to being ugly... It, it would have to win that contest. Not Maybe not be the most ugly. Um, but, uh, you know. Uh, spoiler alert! You guys might see a video on ugly Pokemon featuring Playrough coming out soon. 
so that'll be fun. Should be in like a week after this video, so that'll be fun. I wrote the script, it's really nice, it's really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna go Tail Slap, so I can, I think, eat all five, and then Drain Punch will get me... Uh, oh, the Rocky Helmet too, yeah, that's, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so the Drain Punch will get us a lot of health back. Not as much because of the Rocky Helmet, actually, which kind of sucks. But, hey, still get a good amount of health back. That's the way I like it. One more to eat? Yeah, one more. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, damn, we're actually not going to get any health back at all. <laughs> good job, Rocky Helmet. Anyways, yeah, Drain Punch going off. Um, give me the health, yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Now at this point, Garbodor is kind of as good as dead. Uh, he did a good job. He did what he was supposed to do, which was counter Chinchino. I don't know what to go into now though. Possibly, eh, maybe Absol for a Sucker Punch. Maybe Togekiss can probably outspeed. Sableye probably doesn't have much to do, in all honesty. Um, I can just throw out a Gunk Shot if he goes into Sableye, I guess. We'll see. We will see. Uh, Absol is a pretty scary Pokemon, but with a full health Dawn fan, I'm not too afraid of it. If it gets like some sort of- no, no, we have Sturdy. So even with like a crit or something, we're good. <sighs> I really want to get Hazards out. I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, they do help, especially against Togekiss, because obviously, as you guys know, Togekiss is like a super bulky Pokemon. But at this point, I'm not too afraid. Anyways, we're just waiting for Andrew to switch into his next Pokemon. I'm gonna go and say that he's gonna go into Togekiss. Fun fact, I was gonna draft Togekiss. It was one of the first Pokemon I wanted to get. I believe it was gonna be my third pick. Oh, yep, Sean. Yep, that's Togekiss. <laughs> it was gonna be my third pick after Bisharp, but then Andrew took it and I was so salty. Andrew sniped me like eight times. So I'll just throw out the gunk shot here. I mean, it's whatever. We're probably gonna go down, yeah. Goodbye. If we lived, that would have been sick. Anyways, we can go into our... Cradilly is a pretty good counter. We have Rock Slide. Um, so I'll go into Cradilly here. Obviously, there's nothing to defog. But that'd be pretty insane Like if <laughs> we got the, uh, the defog switch. I could go for Rock Slide right here. I don't know. Let's go for Rock Slide. Or a sphere. Oh my god, I forgot that Togekiss gets that. Are we gonna lose Cradilly that fast again? No, that did nothing. Cool. <laughs> Rock Slide's gonna go off. So we know that he's not scarfed, which is good. And that's gonna do almost half. Uh, he's gonna take some lefties, so this should be a three hit KO. Uh, bearing nothing misses, that would really suck. Anyways, we're gonna take our own lefties, which is gonna make his thing like a four hit kill. I'm not too worried about him killing us unless he wants to flinch us to death. That would suck. I almost want to go for rocks, but no. Nah. He'll probably he might switch, or he might try and flinch us out. He might go into Girder. Might not. You never know. Going for rocks actually might have been the better play here. I'm not too sure. Cause Cradilly doesn't do too much work. He goes for Thunder Wave. That's odd because I'm like the slowest thing alive. Uh, but hey, I'll take it. I, I do actually kinda I wanna get rocks up this turn. Especially since he didn't hit us there. Uh, Parahax could happen, but it's like, at this point, in all honesty, I can just come in an Iron Head. Uh, especially knowing that he's not Scarfed. So, I'm not afraid of that at all. So, I will go for the Rocks here, just to see if that, like, adds anything. Uh, for example, potential, like, his, his, uh, what's it called? Could be Scarfed. What's the name of that thing? Sableye. He might be running Scarfed Sableye, who knows? So, I'll get Rocks up here. He's gonna go roost. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's actually smart because he's not gonna take super effective on rock slides. So that was smart by him. But now I get rocks up. We get paralyzed. That sucks. Um. Okay, I'll go for the rock slide again here. Or er, rocks, rock slide, rock, rocky, rock slide, rocks or rock slide. I'm trying to pick. I'll go for. I really want to get the rocks and see if he has defog, and then set them up again, and then go into Bisharp, and then catch that defog. That'd be insane, wouldn't it? Uh, he'll go for the air slide. Alright, so he's going to paraflinch. Alright, I see you. I see you with them strats, Andrew. Paralyzed, yeah, of course. That makes sense. You know, that makes sense. But if we can just whittle him down a little bit more, 
Like, just like one more rock slide. I'm like, he's really not doing any damage to us. I'm not too afraid. And we also have recover if worst comes to worst. I, I'm going to set up rocks. Screw it. I'm going to set up rocks. He's got aura sphere. Okay, so at least we're not going to get flinched. It's going to do a little bit more damage though. That's super effective, yeah. We'll get our rocks up. Okay, so that's cool. This is where we see if he has defog, which will be a potential big moment. I don't know if he'll even uh, attempt defogging, just because, like, this is his only Pokemon that's really weak to them. But I'll just go for the Rock Slide, or should I go for the Recover? I should go for the Recover. I'll go for the Recover. Let's go Aura Sphere again. We can live it. Okay, so I don't think he has defog. Living, we living, boys. Get that recover off, son. So this is probably gonna be a little bit of a stally part. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, like I said, I'm gonna try and win. So if I have to stall, I have to stall. Sorry if you guys don't like stall. It is a legitimate tactic, and there's really no point in bashing it because what does that solve? Um, anyways, I'll go for the rock slide here. Just gonna go for the aura sphere once again. Surprised we haven't seen Absol yet. We're gonna get the rock slide off. Oh, Sean, you're avoiding the attack. The dodge is... That was insane. Okay. Okay, back to full health. Well, we'll probably die in like two turns or whatever. But if I can get a rock slide off, I can just come in an iron head. Okay, wait. Actually, I need to know Togekiss' speed. I'm gonna look that up right now. Togekiss. Because... Okay, we live... That's good. Paralyzed, of course. Nice. Okay, uh, Togekiss's speed. How slow is it? Uh, obviously, Cradily's kind of dead here. So, I guess recover if for some reason something happens. Air Slash, why'd you do that? Could have missed. Anyways, Togekiss's speed is 80, so yeah, we outspeed. <laughs> Unless he's like timid, which I don't think he would be. If this is the set he's running. So I am going to go in can Bisharp? Oh go. Let's I don't think he can. I'll go into Magmortar here, get off a of Thunderbolt. Um he can paralyze me if he wants. I'm not too worried about it, actually. T will go in off. Three, two, one, go. Maybe he'll switch. I don't know why. Kind of seems like why switch at this point. Because, um, you know, he's at like full health or whatever. And if, if he does take our Magmordar down, like I said, Iron Head, we'll take him out. So it's not too much of a problem right now. I don't know what he's expecting me to do here. Probably Thunderbolt. He's probably expecting me to Thunderbolt. I don't know. I'd assume that's what he's expecting. Maybe he'll think I'll Fire Blast, but I, like he really doesn't have a safe switch into any moves I'm going to throw. So that's okay. Okay, we're going to get the Thunderbolt off. How much damage? Oh! Kill him! In that critical hit. That's hacks right there. Um, I doubt that would have really affected the overall outcome of the game, but Togekiss was a pretty big threat. Um, he can go into Sableye now, and in all honesty, I can just kind of... I can fire blast it. I'd like it if he didn't go into Absol. He's gonna go into Absol. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't want it to be like a Sableye type thing in the end. I'm gonna go into Donphan here. I think I can eat two attacks from it. Unless it gets like some Night Slash crit hacks here. Maybe he went for Sucker Punch. That'd be tight. Don't go for Swords Dance either. I mean, if you go for Swords Dance, I'm okay with that. You know why? Because then Sturdy is kind of cool, you know. I like Sturdy. Protect! Oh, I'll take that. Alright, so I'm going to throw out a superpower, obviously. I don't know if he'll expect me to have this. But if we get this superpower off, that actually might end up like being the game. Sucker Punch! I can eat that. I can eat like five of those. And superpower is going to take little old Abby down. Uh, our attack gets lowered here. I, I doubt I'm going to switch just because, like, meh. Nothing here. Like, you know, it's down fan. He can go down now. 
Still kind of afraid of... I, no, I'm not... I think we got this, because we also have a full health Bisharp and Metacham, both with priority moves. Um, then, like, his Girder is probably... He's going to go into Girder now, just Ice Punch, right? That would make sense. I'll just Earthquake. It probably won't kill. Maybe after Burn it will kill, though. Prank Star. No, he's going to go into Sableye. I don't know why. Um, but, hey, whatever. I'll take it. going to take the Stone Damage, and... Uh, that was Earthquake. That was just Earthquake. He's gonna Will-O-Wisp. I'm minus attack. Like, I don't care too much, to be honest. And if we get, like, a crit, that'd be tight. But we did already get our crit for the battle, so I'm not really expecting anything else. Still does 8. Oh, we got a crit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> the crit does good damage. Like I said, at this point, I can kind of just go down. He can just spam recovers, I guess. We'll see if he does that knock off uh, you like it's whatever really you can like I kind of want to be taken out at this point I'm gonna expect to recover here I could go into mag mortar but I'd rather get safe switch or that might be the play nah we're burned let's just die we outspeed so he didn't go for recovery he went for an attack why you no recover I don't okay Oh, okay. Well, I guess that worked out for him. Um, I'll just go into Magmortar here and like Thunderbolt or whatever. He can knock me off. It like won't kill or whatever. I think Magmortar will be able to finish this game up. So that's good. We'll just Thunderbolt till our heart's content. We'll Thunderbolt, then we'll Psychic, and that will be game. I don't know why he doesn't have Recover. And I don't know why he didn't have Defog. Those are two things I would expect him to have. Uh, but I guess it kind of worked out in our favor both times, right? Suplex City, I like that name. Uh, but yeah, this, this Psychic, uh, this will be game right here, unless I misclick, which... Oh, I'm Choice Spec. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. Uh, <laughs> you can Mach Punch, I don't think that'll be enough to kill, no. So yeah, Thunderbolt should take him out, and if not, Burn Damage will. Yeah, cool. So that's going to be a battle. Finally, we get another win. Now we are 4-2, and two, looking at a pretty decent record so far. I don't know who we battle next week, but it should be a good one. I'm excited to battle them, whoever it is. Uh, great battle, Andrew. Guys, check out Andrew. He has two YouTube channels. Check them both out. One for stream highlights, one for like Let's Plays. Uh, check out his Twitch and his Twitter. Like I said, this guy, means he means a lot to me. He's one of my all-time best friends. Uh, remember to follow Taves, my assistant coach on Twitter. He's a really cool and funny guy, and he helps me you know, with all my different teams. Uh, so please check him out too. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the shout-outs for today. Have a great day, guys. Uh, I just uploaded a top 10 yesterday, which you guys will see in the outro. Or top 5, I'm sorry. Which you guys will see in the outro. So don't be afraid to click that annotation on the outro and check that out. Uh, have a nice day guys, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you disliked it, subscribe if you want to, unsubscribe if you want to, and as always, let the outro roll!